coming over. My name is Pierre Rose Cherotich, married to Josephat Karaoke, and together we've been doing this business for the last 12 years. What a business. And uh, it's, it looks like it was just yesterday. One of the things that has been able to really guide us in this business is to be able to come to trainings every other time when we are called for, we learn. And that is why tonight we are coming in to learn so that we can be able to use the knowledge that we get to build our businesses. Well, and to people who refuse to come to trainings because no sooner uh, have they joined the business than they quit. So I want to encourage all of us tonight on this call. Make sure you attend all the meetings that you qualify for. And this is one of the meetings which is involving all the members in the superstars team. And I'm super excited because tonight we are having a great uh, speaker, a wonderful gentleman all the way from Uganda. What a business we have, because this is someone that we've been able to travel around the world together. We've done so much together. I remember our first Ruby orientation in um, South Africa, we met with him. And I remember very vividly that he was uh, very young in the business, still a student, but he was pursuing this business with a lot of zeal. And today he's very successful. Actually, he was our brand new uh, Two Ruby director just the other day. And we thank God for that. He's shining in the business, doing a lot in Uganda. And I know he's the next president team member coming out of Uganda. And so thank you so much. I want to invite our speaker to be able to take us through what one of the aspects that is very important in our business and that is personal development and many other things that he's going to share with us. He should tell us how he got to Ruby so that all of us can work towards getting there. Otherwise, I want to give this chance to our upcoming PT that is Justice Muhumuza all the way from Uganda. Welcome, Justus. If you can hear me, please take it away. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it's always uh, a privilege to be invited to the Superstars team to be able to share my, my experience with New Life. I truly appreciate. And um, interestingly, every time you call me to come and share, I think it's me who learns most. I, I always learn quite a lot. Um, thank you for inviting me once again. Uh, my name is Muhum Zajastas. And other people that have invited me to this meeting are actually my mentors, people that I look up to quite a lot. I hope and pray that as a team, we also look at them the same way I look at them. Because um, through their sharings, through their motivation, through their trainings, that is actually how I've been able to build a Turubi size business. Uh, you know, sometimes um, you might not be, as a leader, you always say that as a leader, you're on the camera 24 seven. And um, you, you might not know that actually by simply watching you, um, the way you do your things, the way you've been number one, consistently in personal sponsoring, and uh, the way how you've been in the top three um, consistently in, in, in uh, East African performance, um, the, the, the teams, uh, the team sponsoring. You know, by, you know the, the, there are some lessons whereby you don't even have to talk. But when you simply stand there and you, and the, you are recognized as number one this year, the following year, the other year, that alone communicates a lot. And, and, and you know, um, I, I actually wish that this topic that we are going to share today about personal development, I wish I had actually got to learn it early alone. I think if I had learned it early alone, I would really, really be um, probably maybe a diamond. But I think. My time and work on myself and develop myself, develop my mind, 
I, I if I had learned that early alone, I would be I would be a, a minimum of a presidency member. So I, I I thank you for organizing this training because from this training and whoever listens to this carefully, trust me, you are not going to do the same mistakes that I personally made when I got started in this business. I got started in 2009. I'm actually slightly older than um, um, uh, 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 the karaoke, slightly older in the business. But interestingly, they are earning bigger and they, 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 they have uh, bigger steps. I you know when today when they told me to speak about personal development, I was like, wow, I think this guy, these guys, they, they got to know Ali alone than I got to know. And that's why they 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 actually beat me up, you know. And you know, I, I was um I don't know whether we can see this clearly. Well, if you can see this clearly and you can read the names, um at some point that was November 2000 and uh 2010. I was number one in the whole of East Africa. And uh, Josephat and Pierros were number number four in East Africa. Now, that was just because of hard work that actually got me to beat them. But then, because, um, because one thing that was special about them is that when we look at uh, their level of growth, their level of personal growth, they were way, way, way ahead of me. Because I think this is when they had actually just gotten started. Those are 2000, 2010, they had just gotten started. We were four months old. Four months old in the business. Now, I'm trying to, 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 to make a point here that uh, we really, need to put a lot of time and a lot, as long as if you really are a distributor listening to this call today, and you really want to grow in this business, you want to become a, a, a director, you want to become a, 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 a Ruby director, you want to become a presence team member, you want to become a diamond director. The secret is in the size of the mind, how you've been able to grow. That is something that I didn't know that I needed to work so hard on myself. Well, when my sponsor was getting me into the business, he says, just as 80% of the success that you're going to acquire in this business is actually dependent on training. I took that seriously and I have never missed any trainings. The only trainings I have missed were trainings that were not informed, I was not informed in advance because I was somewhere else training. Those are the only trainings I have missed. But tell me that I miss, I miss um, a Zoom meeting, no. Tell me that I miss a physical training, no. Tell me that I miss um, a company function, I don't do that. Tell me that I missed a conversion. I don't do those mistakes. Those are serious mistakes. Because I learned that the more trainings I acquire, the better I become. The more I grow my mind, the more, the bigger the steps, the more money that I was going to make out of this business. And actually that is the top secret that if you want to grow, if you want to make money, if you want to live a life of your dreams, you need to work harder on your mind. I got to the, I, I, I really got to learn that. And uh, today things are quite happening. Now, when we are talking about personal development, you know, when we talk about sometimes um, we hear about them, but we never get to deeply understand what they mean. What is personal development? Personal development are actually activities designed to improve your talents, your potential, your gifts, and your, and your wealth. Personal development are the act, uh, act, activities designed to improve your talents, your gifts, 
your potential, your wealth. And I mean, all of us as we are here, we have gifts, we have talents. There is something that is special about every single distributor that joins New Life. Something special. And it's only when you take time to develop it that you actually start making use of it and you start growing. For example, when I got started, I was a very good, I was very good at sponsoring. I guess that's how I end up being number one. Because I was good at sponsoring. But something that I was, I, I, I was not good at, I was not good at selling. And I used to tell myself quite a number of times that I think I am not good at selling. But there is one secret that I've learned in this business. Whatever you focus on, whatever you grow, whatever you put your, your mind to and said, I am going to learn the skill of selling. I am going to learn the skill of sponsoring. I am going to learn the skill of retaining people. I am going to learn the skill of training. I am going to learn how to grow as a leader. I am going to improve myself. I am going to, whatever you focus on and you make a decision to focus on, it eventually grows. Eventually. Today, as we speak, for my first five years in the business, my attitude was, I am not good at selling. But today, when, when I put my mind to learn, um, it took me about six months for me to start doing an average of 1,000 personal points. It, then it went ahead to 2,000. Today, I, 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 will, I, 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 I will not do 4,000, not because I can't, but just because I devote most of my time to developing and supporting my team. But as we speak today, uh, this month I said, by the way, I see people doing 4,000. Why not do it? As we speak right now, as of, as of today, I have 3,268 uh, 3, personal PV. And it's all out of, today I sold, I think, uh, four, uh, 25 liter super tens. Today, just today. That's about 600 points. But now, how did that come? Because I put myself and I said, you know what? If others can do this, let me focus on learning what they are doing. All of us, we are here, we are looking at, um, at, at Josephat and, and Pierre as, as the number one sponsoring in East Africa. But trust me, if we put our minds to learn, you're even lucky that they are your uplines, they're your mentors. If you put yourself to learn what they are doing, trust me, a time will come when, they, when, when, uh, when, when you're speaking about sponsoring, they are taking notes. Today, you may, not, you may even be struggling to sponsor one person. But when you put your mind to learn and develop those skills, tomorrow, we will actually be learning from you. Why are you learning from me now? It's simply because I have taken time to grow my, myself, to learn. I have learned that if I am going to grow, if things are going to change, if things are going to happen, I need to improve myself. I need to work on my personal growth. I need to develop myself. I need to develop my mind, you know? You know, I used to hear statements like, um, the, the, the size of your business is equal to the size of your brain. And I never used to understand such kind of statement. I, sometimes I think I used to, to childishly think that does that mean I need to have a bigger head? No. You just need to take your time to learn. I used to hear statements like um, the size of the size of your back account, how much money is on your account is equal to the size of your brain. But I never used to understand what exactly they meant. All that they meant is that if I want to start earning a million Kenyan shillings, I need to have a million in my head first. 
And what does that come to? It And what does that take? It comes to me working on myself. Now, what are some of the size of your business is equal to the size of your brain. The size of the money on your account is equal to the size of your brain. But now, how do we grow that? Oh, what are some of the areas we need to grow? One, we need to grow mentally. We need to grow mentally. If you can see the picture, um, if you can see the picture, see the there by books that they have read for them to become what they are today for them to earn the money that they are earning today. Now, how do you get to their level? By doing exactly what they are doing, reading those books there. So we need to grow mentally, socially, spiritually, physically, emotionally. We need to grow in all these areas. Now, when we say we need to grow socially, what do we mean? Many to grow your communication skills. We all know that in this business, we need to be very good communicators. But how do we become good communicators? It's by putting off time to learn how to become a good communicator. Because if I am a good communicator, then I can be able to communicate myself well, and then I can be able to have more people joining my team. We need to learn presenters. How do we learn those skills? By practicing, by doing a number of presentations. Sometimes I push some distributors to, they, you know, they keep on bringing guests to me, bringing guests to me, you know, and sometimes they even bring someone to me and then they want to be busy on their phones or they want to walk out, I tell them, please, I am not speaking to your guest if you are not seated here. Because if I speak to your guest, then I am learning, I am becoming better. So when you just walk away, then you're not learning how I present to people to sign up, how I close people, you know? So you need to learn on your, you need to grow, uh, um, you need to, 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 to grow um, socially by, by learning uh, communication skills, uh, follow-up skills, present. One of the things that I always want to Today, we are in a world yes. your appliance can only contribute up to about 80% or 15%. But the 85% is all coming back to who? It all comes back to me. Now, the other area that we need to improve uh, for us to grow personally is uh, we, need to, we need to work on the physical bit. The physical bit also includes, um, includes image. How do you dress? How do you present yourself? How do you carry yourself? You know? I mean, we, I always had uh, things like um, people buy you first before they buy into whatever you want to present to them. I mean, I, want, I learned that if I was going to grow in my business, I must be putting on suits every single day. When I must be looking good every single day. And I'm telling you, if there's any investment that I do, I invest in good gadgets. I invest, uh, I invest in, uh, in very nice, beautiful suits. 
I invest in uh, having very nice shoes. I invest in having very nice cars because I know that people will always buy me first before they buy into whatever I have to talk about. I mean, if I am a guy who puts on the t-shirts, it's very, very difficult for me to add onto my name list a, someone who puts on a suit. Very difficult. Very difficult. So when you're looking at growing personally, you need to grow socially, you need to grow um, uh, physically, and that includes your image. Image is very key. You know, I had um, I had a friend. I had a friend who used to who had been on a certain ruby step for a very long time. I think close to ten years, and uh, he once uh, boarded a plane to come to Nairobi. And when he came to Nairobi to ask to just look for one for one for one uh, uh, advice, how can he step up from where he was to the present step? And uh, this, this guy was very, 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 um, very wise. He looked at this guy and said, you know what? Let me take you and I show you where the problem is. And he walked with this guy to a shop where they sell very nice suits, very nice ties, very nice shirts. And he just bought one tie like this and gave it to him. That if you start putting on ties, if you improve your image and start buying very nice suits, you are going to become a presidency member. This guy, when he came around, he got into his account, got all his savings. He bought suits, he bought ties, he bought shoes, but things changed. He even got his car to be repainted so that he could really, really improve his image. And trust me, it took him about uh, six more months and he was a presidency member. So you can you can never compromise with image when it comes to looking growing personally personal development we also need to look at the mental development we need to develop our mind attitude self belief we need to take time to develop. Now, mental development actually helps you to feel energized, to feel you accomplished, to, it may help you to feel confident of yourself. And now, how do we grow? And like I told you before, that the size of your business is equal to the size of your what? Of your mind. The size of the man on your account is equal to the size of your what? Of your mind. So you need to dedicate time to work on yourself. You need to dedicate time. I am on a program whereby every single day at exactly five, I am up. And when I wake up at five in the morning, what am I doing before I leave my, before I leave, uh, my house? It is to work on myself. When I'm in the showers, I am listening to John C. Maxwell. I am listening to Eric Wari. I am listening to Jim Ron. Right now, before I actually started speaking to you, I was listening to Personal Development by Jim Ron. You can go to YouTube and you look for that Personal Development by YouTube. I'm telling you, when you listen to that, you, you will completely start seeing things a completely in a different way. Now, how do you how do you grow um, your mental mind? Uh, first and foremost, you need to set goals, targets. You need to set goals. You need to set targets that are going to help you to stretch, to stretch your mind, to stretch yourself. You need to learn how to deal with um, to deal with stress, rejections, hardships objections, challenges. All of these are because I mean, we all meet challenges. We all meet challenges in this business. After today, I invite people and they lie to me that they are coming and they don't come. After today, I invite people 
And they tell me, oh my goodness, just that this is a very good idea. I've been praying for such an opportunity. I am going to come tomorrow and we sign up. And the next day I give them a call, they block me. Up to today, I, 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 I give calls. I, I make appointments. People come, they say they are going to come and they tell me they are going to join and they tell me they are going to, you know, I sponsor people and they tell me, you know what? We are going to do this business. And they turn me down. But that does not affect me at all. Well, when I was at just started in the business, I remember my first three months were, were quite well. First month, I sponsored 19 people. Second month, I had a team of 38. In the third month, I knew I was going to become a director. In my third month, all of them quit on me, and I stayed with only three distributors. My mother, my best friend, and my dad. Where did all the other ones go? They left. One of the occasions where I wanted to quit. But then when I sponsor people and they leave, I'm like, some will go, some will stay. Why? Because I have learned to overcome this, this uh, mind-wise. I have learned, I have learned how to handle all these objections, all these rejections. So we need to take a lot of time to work on ourselves. Association. Association. I want to become a presidency member. And when you go through my phone, all the presidency members in East Africa, there is no any presidency member in East Africa who I don't have the phone number, who I don't speak to at least once or twice in a month. Why? Because I know that by associating with them, I am going to become like them. They are my friends. In fact, I even have most of the presidency members and diamond directors contacts for South Africa. I do have them. Why? Because I've understood that um, association is very key to personal development. I mean, they always say that if you move around with nine losers, you become loser number 10. But if you run around with nine millionaires, you might not be a millionaire then, but you are millionaire number 10 in the making. So association is very, very key. Association is very key. You need to align yourself with guys who are headed where, who know where they're headed, who have goals, who have dreams, who are not always crying of challenges, who are always looking at a brighter future, who are actually in the areas where you want to be. Association is very, very key. Please, when an, another negative distributor comes to you and start speaking to you about negativity, tell them, by the way, I was a little bit busy. Let me finish up something. I'll get back to you. So that, that topic is very important, but we'll talk about it later. And tomorrow when they meet, you say, ha, ah, I am busy, but I know we have a pending appointment. We will talk later. Let the later keep on becoming later and later and later because you should not give any room for what? Any negativity. And if you're a distributor, if you ever have a challenge, please, with the challenges, speak to your upline directors, your upline working members, your upline presidency members. Don't run around negatizing other distributors. No, association is very, very key. We need to learn how to work harder on ourselves if things are going to change. Every distributor that is here, you should be reading books. You should be reading books. Books like Think and Grow Rich, The Greatest Salesman in the World, The Magic of Thinking Big.
classes, I actually waste uh, two hours in jam. One hour in the morning, one hour in the evening. And then I actually discovered that most of the books, like the 17 indispensable qualities of a leader, be, uh, becoming a person of influence, all those books by John C. Maxwell, they actually last about one and a half hours. Meaning that every single day, with those two hours in jam, I can actually, in my car, I can actually listen to these books. Now, you will tell me that, well, I don't have a car, so I can't listen to them. You can plug in your headsets and sit in a taxi, sit in a matatu, and listen to a book every single what? Every single day. You can do that. The things I'm telling you are the things that I personally do because I know that if I am going to become a diamond director, I must have a diamond what? If I am going to attract great leaders on my team, I must be a great leader first. I must be a great leader first. In fact, in the, in the, um, in the, in, in the book of uh, John C. Maxwell, the 17 um, Inefitable Laws of Leadership, he talks about uh, a leadership scale. He said that on a scale of zero to 10, that if you are lead, if you are on level five, you can never attract a five, a six, or a seven. You only attract a three or two. Now, if you are going to attract, if you are going to attract um, someone who is an eight, then you must be a nine or you must be a ten. So we only attract who we are in this business. We all want a team of people who can do massive sponsoring. We all want to, to, to have teams of great leaders. We all want to have teams of committed people. We all want to have people teams of, of people who are very serious and very focused, who are dreamers. You cannot attract anyone of that kind on your team if you are not that. If you're a person who attends meetings, who always gives excuses, those are the kind of people that you're going to attract. So we need to take a lot of time to attend to work on ourselves. Attend all the mentorship trainings that are set by your leaders. Attend all of them. We have our leaders organize manager schools, senior manager schools, director meetings, our, our, our retreats. All of those things that they attend, please don't give any excuses. And even when they have a financial implication, please go borrow and pay. I mean, I've seen people who borrow money to put up hardware shops that are not sure they will work. Now, borrowing, borrowing only, I mean, you do not know what it meant for me to get money and pay for an air ticket to go and attend the East African Convention. By simply sitting in that environment of the East African Convention, there was a mind shift. By simply seeing so many presidents and members, Ruby directors, staffer directors, I mean, they recognize directors like as if they were recognizing uh, new guests. By simply investing money to, to come and learn and see the bigger picture, you know? Guys, if we are going to become, all of us as we are here, we are 88 people on this call. We can become directors. We can become wealthy members. We can become Ruby directors. We can become presence members. We can become diamond directors. But how are we going to become all these things? We need to think like directors, act like directors. We need to think like wealthy members, act like wealthy members. How are we able to do that? by working on developing ourselves. That is the only way. It is the only way, personal development. I mean, there comes a point by the way, by in this business, yes, we need to work hard. We need to work hard. But then so we also need to have the what? The brains. We need to have that level of personal growth we need to, 
It's the only, actually from, um, I always love telling my directors that from distributor to director, you can actually become director by simply working hard. But from director, for you to stay qualified 12 out of 12, develop other directors, become a sapphire, become a one ruby, become a two ruby, it comes back to you as an individual. Have you worked on yourself? Do you have the skills? Do you have the leadership? Do you have the level of growth? Do you have the right attitude? Who are you as a person? How do you develop your character? It comes back to you as a person. So the earlier you learn this, the faster you grow. Too bad I come so much as a, because I became a one ruby director. I became a one, I became a one ruby director in, uh, in, um, in 13 months. And then I've been a one ruby director for how many months? For how many years? Over 10 years. Do you know why? It's because when I was working on myself, my mind stopped at what? At one ruby. But I came up and said, you know what? I need more money. I need more recognition. I need a better lifestyle. I need to achieve bigger dreams. And what is the solution? I had to get back to working on myself, to growing myself, setting bigger goals, setting bigger targets. And that's how things are now moving. That's how things are moving. And you know, when you move, your team also moves. When you don't move, your team doesn't move. When you don't grow personally, your team doesn't grow personally. You know, they always say that when you want to know the temperature of the team, you put the, the thermometer in the mouth of the leader. If you want to know the attitude of the team, you just put the thermometer in the mouth of the what? Of the leader. So if you want to know that your team, your team is not going anywhere, it's, it, comes, it, it, it comes back to you. Are you going anywhere? So guys, we need to work on ourselves. We need to work on ourselves. We need to work on ourselves. We need to get back to, if we are going to grow personally, we need to, we need to get back to growing and having goals and targets. Right now we are coming to month end. We are coming to month end. Do you know that there are some people who actually who are listening who don't have any goals, who don't have any targets? All they are doing, they are just working. Just working. They're just working. The month ends, same results. Or even worse. Sometimes you find this month they sponsored even the next month they don't sponsor because they don't have targets. So we are coming to month end. Do you have targets? Do you have goals? Do you have something that you're focusing on achieving? You know, the company always tells us that your next goal should be your next what? Your next step. Every single month, every single month. And, and you know, it's quite interesting. I love the way the Neo Life does things. Last month, Last month when, um, you know, on your back office, they can always show you the percentage. I was at 97% to become to one ruby, you know, to become two ruby. The moment I did it like this, immediately, the company showed me that I am now at 35% to become what? A three ruby director. Man, every single month, you need to have a goal or a target you're planning to hit. It is the only way things grow. It's the only way. You know, they always say that Rome was, built, was never built in one day. You will never become a director in one day. You'll never become a suffer director in one day. You'll never become a ruby director in one day. It's just by you saying this month, whatever case it may be, I need to make my next step. And by the way, you may say that today is the 27th. The month is already coming to an end. 
well, I my goal is to do four thousand personal points. I have a balance of about um, I have a balance of about seven hundred fifty points. And trust me, I am going to do that 750 points before the month ends. Some of you may say, well, the month has really ended. Let me plan for next month. No, that's not how things work. You need to set a goal and you don't need to give up until the month comes to an end. Now, every single month, as if you are a distributor, your goal is to become manager. And if you work even harder, you could even skip that step and become a water senior manager. But your goal is becoming a manager and your goal is doing a 3 in 30. That is introducing three people, a minimum of three people. By the way, if you have these targets eh, and you always work hard to hit them, there's a way how your business keeps on growing every single month, every single month, every single month, every single month. By the time you open up, you'll be like, wait a minute. I've been registering some small progress every single month. Now, by the end of the year, it's much bigger progress. So if you are a manager on this meeting, before the end of this month, you can step up. And by the way, interestingly, there is a way how God also does his things. Whenever you have a target to hit, and you really, really want to hit the target. There's a way how things started in falling. Now, the way how this gentleman gives me a call and says, just as I need four jerry cans of 25 liters super 10. I didn't have any program with them. I didn't, I didn't expect them to buy. I didn't expect them to give me a call. All I'm doing, I am working to hit my target. And that is how God is making people to call me. So we can hit our targets. If you said, if at the start of the month, if you said that I am going to become a distributor, don't give up until you have hit that goal. Even if it is present Monday, you can come and set up line. I, I have 50 points that I need to put in for me to become a what? A manager. If you, if you had set a goal that I am going to sponsor five people, Make sure you, you, you fight until the last day. We need to develop that culture of fighting until the last day to hit our targets. This whole mentality of giving up is not taking us anywhere. And I know this team is very, very good when it comes to goal setting, goal achieving. I mean, I already know, I already know, I, 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 I already know the karaoke's goal for the, for the year. I know they want to be number one in personal sponsoring. And I'm telling you, whatever case it may be, they are going to hit that target. Why? Because they don't give up. They don't give up. So if you're a distributor, make sure you become, you confirm manager. If you are a manager, make sure you confirm senior manager. If you are a senior manager, make sure you confirm executive manager. If you are executive manager, make sure you confirm what? director and the bible says ask and you shall be given you asked go ahead and work we can do these things my goal this year is to end this year as a three be director if you ask me how i'm going to do it i don't know i sincerely don't know but all i know is that i want to be a three be director and i am working I am sponsoring. I am developing directors. This month, I am I am getting helping someone to make their first step to suffer director. Right now, he's at about nine thousand points. He already has a qualified leg, and he's actually he's now having just a balance, and he's already qualified as director as well. So he's just remaining with a balance of about nine hundred points to make his first step. This month, I am hoping someone to make their first step to one Ruby director. He already has two qualified legs. And we are saying that we are not giving up. We are not giving up. We must make this thing happen. He has a balance of about, uh, about 4,000 points to make. But at month end, I know by month end, we shall have done that because we are not giving up at all. This month, I want to develop about three directors. Already all of them are over 2,000 points. 
and I know whatever case it may be. I don't know how they are going to do it, but it must be done. Now, that is the kind of winning attitude that all of us need to have. Ladies and gentlemen, it's possible. We can all do these things. We just need to focus on working on ourselves. We just need to focus on growing personally. We just need to develop our soul. We just need to work on having, growing these skills. All we need right now, we are an environment whereby if there is any better time to join near life, it is now. It is now. It is now when everyone knows. It's now when everyone is looking for an opportunity. But how are we going to do that? We need to grow personally. We need to grow personally. Everyone needs to be reading books, listening to cassette tapes, listening to these personal growth things. We need to be attending all the meetings. If we do that, trust me, we are going to change everything. We are going to change ourselves. We are going to drive those cars. We are going to, to travel. I mean, we set goals and said we are going to Istanbul, Turkey. It's very possible. I've seen people who have come and become wealthy members in, in seven months, in six months. It's very possible for you. Very possible. Guys, let's work hard. I know if I, I know I, if, if I am if I don't stop here, I will talk and talk and talk until the cows come back home. But my message today is the size of our business, the size of the money on our accounts is equal to the size of our mind. We need to work harder on ourselves because that is the only way how we are going to attract the leaders. That is the only way how we are going to grow. That is the only secret. Let's work harder on ourselves and the rest will follow. Thank you so much for inviting me once again, my mentors. You know, um, like I said, you 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 manage to 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 eat a lot of big monies because of your level of growth. But now I have also learned the secret. I am working very very hard on myself, and I know by next year we are going to be enjoying ourselves as presidency members. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And I hope and pray that whatever I've been able to share has been able to, to, to create an impact. I hope we've been able to learn. Thank you so much and back to you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Justice. Wow. And congratulations as you take your three ruby director any time from now. I know when you say you are going for something, you literally do that. and. Uh, you can be sure that is the spirit that you've uh, now inspired the team to engage in. Uh, team, there you have it. I don't want to actually repeat anything that Justice has uh, shared with us, <clears throat> but that was so kind of uh, Justice to pour his uh, heart and the secrets that he has used to be able to take the business. Actually, in Uganda, he's the fastest growing as we talk. And uh, so just as you see things happening in Superstar team, and um, you know, he has talked possibilities, possibilities, possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there are people who are very new in the call and now they are seeing themselves as directors and sapphires. And I love the emphasis he has put <clears throat> that thou shall not, never give up. I have seen some people giving up so easily just because the past has not been very good for them, they imagine that the future is pegged on the past. That's not the case from what Justice has shared with us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's um, run with the opportunity. It doesn't matter the challenges. By the way, you might be at 1,000 points by now, but remember, the month is still not over. You can push your PVs to 4,000 points. I don't care. <clears throat> where you are now. What I care about is what's your attitude about getting to your target by end of this month. And of course, I must mention one more thing. Um, in addition to what you are saying, man, you will not really go very far if you are 
you only do things because of your motivation. You have to st style up and step up to a level where you work due to discipline. Discipline is what leads you, not motivation. I've seen many people who, oh, I'm not motivated. I don't feel like doing it. Success is not for those who do when they feel like doing. It's for those who do even when they don't feel like doing. And I have seen just as do exactly that. And in this call, I challenge all of us that um, we go for our dreams regardless of our feelings. Let's detach ourselves from emotions. Uh, that's it for now. Push yourself. No one is here to push you. We can only tell you, hey, up here, it's nice. It's sweet up here. And then it's you to now jump and push yourself to enjoy the success that uh, you rightfully uh, deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all president team members. If we never look back, if we don't just sit and wait for things to happen, but we cause things to happen. So I want to uh, put a comma on that, and then we got to recognition in a few minutes. 